Hi, this is Jeff, and we're continuing to introduce the May Wine Club wines um, virtually. And uh, we're on to our newest member to the uh, Wine Club family, and that's an Italian variety uh, called Toraldigo. Um, Toraldigo comes from Italy. It comes from the Trentino region, which is northwest of Venice. Um, Margie and I came across it um, hiking in the Dolomites and tasting a lot of wines and uh, just having our senses stimulated more positively than negatively with a variety called Toraldigo. And uh, I, I knew that the folks over at Montevigna had been making Toraldigo for years and, and I had occasionally purchased a bottle and tried it, but uh, I was never really wowed by it. Um, always a good solid wine, but uh, some of the wines we were tasting there in Italy, and I don't know, I kind of suppose I thought it might have been Italy that made it my taste so good. Uh, when we got home, we started looking at it, and uh, lo and behold, in uh, 2014, uh, Ron McManus planted Toraldigo. For him, a seven acre vineyard is a trial block. And um, he was delighted to sell me two tons of, of, of Toraldigo, which we made into wine in 2016. We did it again in 2017. And then by the time uh, this vintage was to be harvested, we had released the 16, gotten some very nice reviews uh, from the wine club, and uh, sold quite a bit of it the, uh, um, at the May picnic that we decided to, to up our selection to four tons in 2018. 2019, last year we did six, and we're going to do another six this year. But it's a delightful red wine from uh, Trentino. The, uh, the smells and the aromas uh, to me are black cherries, but there's a smoky um, roasted meat uh, character, not unlike Syrah, but there's uh, definitely more fruit to it than, uh, than, than most uh, Old World Syrahs. The, uh, the bouquet of the wine, uh, it's, it's been uh, aged in uh, uh, both French and American uh, 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 barrels and uh, fairly significantly in terms of length of time. Here, typically our wines are in there for about a year. This has been closer to 16 months, so uh, a little bit longer. Big, deep color makes, makes me want to say that uh, the wine's going to be pretty extracted and have a lot of tannin, be a little chewy, a little dry, but it's not. It's incredibly supple. The high levels of acidity, not unlike Barbera, keeps the wine succulent and juicy and, uh, um, and very, very smooth. Um, I wish I had a, a food pairing, but it's such a new uh, introduction into our portfolio that uh, I haven't spent a lot of time with it uh, in terms of uh, in the kitchen. I think uh, maybe some smoked uh, St. Louis ribs might work very well with it. But uh, our newest, uh, Toraligo, is from the Creekside Vineyard in the Jay Hunt district of uh, Lodi. Enjoy.